So, as a director, I've noticed that it's much easier for an actor to be completely free and spontaneous in the moment when the camera's not on them. Yeah, when the actor is actually acting behind camera is when they are the freest and the most spontaneous. So what I've done is sort of devised a program where you learn to be as free and spontaneous when you are on camera as when you're off, and probably even more so, because it works on the basis of exercises that really get you out of your head. See, most actors, when they go on an audition, for example, really get frozen up because they're trying so hard to get something across that's impossible to do. When you make those little notes in the margins of your script and then you go in and you try to deliver that, have you noticed that it just doesn't work? So what I've done is created a class that gets you so out of your head, so free, so in the moment that you don't care too much. You actually go on an audition, you're a completely professional, you are dealing with your technical concerns of you know being on your mark, not swaying, not moving too much, doing your work, but being completely free and in the moment and alive and spontaneous so that you are not only um, surprising the people that are watching you, you are also surprising yourself. You're so in the moment you're surprising yourself and that's when magic happens. That's when the people watching us, you know, the people who are casting, are watching and going, wow, this is really different. This is really alive. No one else has come in and do that, done that. So the way that I do that is, you know, a, a lot of actors are in classes. You guys are in classes where you work, say, once every two weeks. You put up a scene that you've rehearsed and rehearsed. Well, in my class, you don't do that. You get a scene. We work on it for 10 minutes. We do these exercises that get you completely out of your head so you're really spontaneous. You're really, um, you're going from here rather than here. And just magic is happening in your connection with the other actor, in your connection with yourself, in your connection to the material. Something just so different happens. And that is when you are really alive. So what we do is um, you work three times per class. Every student in the class works three times per class and you're put on camera. So that you get so used to being on camera that, you know, the camera just doesn't intimidate you anymore. Uh, it's just no big deal. So that when you walk in on, in on an audition and you see the camera there, you're just so alive, you don't care. You've had a camera on you all week, so it's no big deal. Um, anyway, one of my students calls it an acting workout and another calls it acting yoga, but it keeps you really free, really spontaneous. Um, you know, when actors are trying too hard, it is, it's, that's the kiss of death. Um, so I like to say, just do it badly, just dare to suck. And a lot of times actors will look at me like, what? That is crazy. I've never heard anybody say that. But it is so freeing. It gives the actor um, just the place to not care so much and really come alive. So it's fun and fantastic. And when you know when you're having fun doing it, that something really good is happening. When an actor's not having fun, the results are usually pretty boring. They're usually slow and lacking energy and pretty boring. So, um, you know, you might think that maybe something like this would only translate well to comedy, but it translates well to dramas too because your emotions are so much more available to you when you're really there, free, in the moment, and alive.